One of the most common positives we've been hearing about Windows Vista is how pretty it is. Windows Vista has new icons, a new theme, and it does look snazzy. If you're like me, snazzy doesn't cut it. I like quick, responsive computers. But if you do want to add a little more pizzazz to your computer, you might want to think about changing your icons. Windows XP icons now are about five years old, a little over five years old, and you can change any icon on your computer that's a shortcut. Now, a shortcut means it has this little arrow here next to the icon. You can change those to anything you want. And you do that by right-clicking on the icon you want to change, then choose Properties from the menu. Once the Properties comes up, there's a button right in the middle that says Change Icon. Click the Change Icon. It'll show you if that particular program has more than one option. If it does, you can choose it, or you can click the Browse button right here and browse to another area. One area that has a lot of icons is the Windows System 32. So we're going to navigate to C, double click Windows, scroll across, go to System 32, double click on it, and then anything that comes up, as you can see down here it's filtering by icon files, any file that comes up is something you can use as a new icon. So for example, if I wanted to use this icon, I can just click Open. There's the new icon. Click OK. Click OK again. And now my Google Earth has a different icon. I've listed on the website for you some links to places where you can safely download free icons. And there are plenty of places out there where you can download icons for a cost. And one other link I gave to you on the website version of this tip is a program where you can learn to create your own icons or make icons from your existing pictures.